That's exactly what happened. Abdul, Jesus was Abdul. Okay, listen, listen. Heaven, I, you know what? You know, you know Abbas. You know Abbas. 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 I want to. I want to. I want to take Abbas. Abbas. I want to take advantage of having a majestic, knowledgeable person like you. And as long as you are talking about this, no, I'm not. I'm not. But no, oh no 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 no, no 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 no. Just wait. 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 Okay, where we can find the Nile river as long we are talking about the paradise is it true that the Nile river and euphrates are in the paradise so you agree you, you have no proof of jesus in paradise well guys you are no i got you busted already i got you busted already from your prophet teaching do you agree that your prophet he found do you agree do you agree do you agree do you agree that your prophet when he went to the the, the, the paradise you are the one talking about paradise he found in the paradise two rivers, four rivers. Two of them is the Nile and Euphrates. Yeah. So. Okay. Why you say to me? 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 You do not know the location. If we knew where they are, because according to your stupid prophet, the Nile River and the Euphrates River. Is where the paradise here we go you are the one who agree with that and you said you agree with it so how it is in heaven if the Nile is in Egypt it's coming all the way from uh, from from the heart of Africa and the Euphrates is coming from from uh, Turkey how you're a prophet you say the Nile River and the Euphrates are the rivers of the highest floor yes. in heaven you are the one who mentioned lot of tree aren't you yeah and the lot of tree there is four rivers, two of them hiding and two they are not. Muhammad asked Jibreel, what are these rivers? He replied, those two hiding rivers are the rivers of paradise. As regarded the two manifest ones, they are the Nile uh, and Euphrates. You are breaking up badly. No, I'm no, not. No, I am not. You hear me very well. I, I, I can't hear no, 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 you hear me. You hear me. Stop being, don't, don't hang up. How you stupid prophet, he think that the Nile I'm River talking. and the Euphrates River are coming from under the tree, which is the tree of Allah, which is in the seventh heaven, which you are saying to me, this is the highest floor, which is Jesus is not there according to you. No problem. How you are saying, how your prophet says such a stupid thing? Because according to this, Muhammad, he did not go to the sky. He went to the heart of Africa. In the same time, he found the Euphrates there too. Uh, okay, what, what's the point you're making here through the Hadith? What are these? Until rivers now, rivers until rivers now, Abbas, he do not know what the point. Guys, Abbas, until now, he do not know what the point. How Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. How he went same from same gate thing. number one, gate same number two, thing. gate number three, Bye, gate number four. Down. And then how you are saying that Jesus was not in paradise, which is heaven. But in the same time, in that paradise, we find that the Nile River and the Euphrates is coming from there. Did your prophet really go to Africa uh, or he went to the seven heaven? Bring the hadith a little bit down. Let me read you what the point you're making it because uh, I'm reading it. Here we go. It's in the front really of you. It's in front of you. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. So, so you you saying the hadith says the Euphrates River and Nile River are in heaven and in paradise. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you get my point that I said to you, paradise is part of heaven, but all heaven is not paradise. Mm. Because the hell is also in it. Okay, heaven. what is the word? When you say, uh, Abdul, yeah. Abdul, Abdul, so, Abdul, so Abdul, 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 you know, you are trying to find thought to answer. How the Nile River and Euphrates, they end in the seven heaven? Okay, I'm going to say that again. I think you just ignore me what I said. Mm. Now, paradise is part of the realms of the heavens. This is not the question. Now. The this is not the question. The, this is not the question. Paradise. How the Nile there River the hadith, stop stop hadith. running away? People are laughing and dying at the stupid lie of Muhammad. Obviously, he did not go anywhere. He did not know where the Nile River is. He did not know where Euphrates is. And he is a guy is making up a story. Did he? Sorry. Did your prophet found? You are claiming to be all knowing God. You know everybody is laughing. And dying. No, no, we knew where is Nile River. I do not need to be God to know where is the Nile River is. I do not need to be God. Okay, 
All right. So the, this is a different question now. No, you this is not a different question. No, that, 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 that's not a different Paradise. question. You say that Muhammad, he went to the last heaven. Did you say that? Okay, so what Muhammad he found in that location, which is Jesus is not there, right? Okay, what he found there, he found the Nile River and the Euphrates. He says, then after that, he went to paradise in the Hadith. After no problem, no, no problem, he went he to paradise. Okay, now he is in paradise. He's okay. just man, just, come on, speak like an adult. He is now in paradise. Okay, he entered paradise, he opened the door of paradise, and he asked Jibreel, what is this? He said, those are rivers. He said, what rivers, what they, what they are? He said, the, the, the one, there is two hiding and there is one they are not hiding. The one which are not hiding, they are Nile and Euphrates. Where Muhammad, he went. Okay, uh, what, okay, well, once again, well, what's the, what, what is the number of the hadith? Can you show me the number of the hadith, please? Which is the if hadith, you will not like it. Because you're not showing me the full speed. Because it's the if. Found a Nile river and Euphrates in heaven. Okay, I'm gonna read that. This is very long. This. Um, why you? Why you need okay. to? Why you need to read the whole hadith? Read, read here. The address we don't care. It's the same story. He took him in the top of a flying mule. He went to the seven heaven. He found Isa. He found etc. He found Musas. And then now he arrived to the last uh, floor, and he found there a tree, and under the tree there is four rivers. First one is the Nile. Second one is Euphrates. Did your prophet he go to heaven or he went to Africa? Okay, I'm I'm re I'm, I'm I'm reading it. I'm reading it. He met uh, Jesus in the second heaven, Yahya in the third heaven, Yusuf uh, in the third heaven, Idris fourth, Harun fifth, and then he traveled on till where we reached the sixth heaven mm. and came to Moses and I greeted him and he said, "Welcome unto the righteous." And the Lord is. I'm just uh, sifting through. Uh, before we get to the rivers then he say I came to Abraham um, I came to Abraham uh, he narrated in the Hadith Prophet Sallallahu told that he saw four rivers mm. which flowed mm. uh, from two mm. manifest rivers mm. and two hidden rivers mm. I said Gabriel what are these rivers he mm. replied the hidden the hidden rivers are the rivers of paradise and as regards the two manifest ones they are the Nile and the Euphrates. Mm. Then uh, the battle Mamur was raised up to me. Mm. And I said, oh, Gabriel, okay. So he saw the rivers on the top mm. after he met all the prophets. Mm. And then, then he went on the top, yes? Mm -hmm. So he mm. so he, he saw the rivers. They are rivers of paradise. Mm. So you think that is that is exactly what he saw that was paradise. That's what you're saying. Are you okay, no. are you are you are you are you are you playing stupid now? This is not the question. How no, how I'm the not, Nile I'm River not. how the Nile River start how the Nile River start and he saw it in the heaven the seventh floor of Allah. How the Nile River and Euphrates those are two famous rivers exist in the Middle East. One right now coming from the north south of Turkey. The other one is coming from the heart of Africa, like Victoria. <coughs> Uh, uh, a lake as an example so how you're a prophet he found the Nile River in the seven heaven of Allah did your prophet go to Africa or to heaven I thought I was asking you about Jesus paradise or not now you're changing how rivers no we finished that one we laugh at you because you're a prophet question. you're a prophet explain that paradise is 100 floor so you are stupid now we're done with this but as long you mention the last floor of no, paradise no, no, no. No, as, no, long no, no. as long as long no, no, no. as long as you mentioned the last Here. floor why you are it's, why you are trying to escape the stupidity of your prophet is that a problem to answer answer it answer I, it. you are the genius okay did your prophet made a stupid mistake or he was telling the truth that he found the Nile river there i'm clarifying your stupidity I'm okay not hiding then show me the stupidity yeah, how okay how your prophet yeah. how your prophet no, found the Nile river how your pro you will not answer this because this is embarrassing if you give me a chance, I'll answer. Go ahead. You have a courage, okay. Now, this is understanding of this is ambiguous. This is not a clear cut understanding as the last of these. Last of these say he went to heaven, then he went to paradise. This is these say he saw rivers. Mm. It's possible that he's talking about he saw the vision. 
of particular river in paradise. Ah, Not necessarily those no, 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 no. What, what, what vision? What vision? What vision? What, 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 what? Are you adding words? Does it say there it's a vision Muhammad was dreaming? He saw rivers and he asked Jibreel, what are those rivers? The many things can, can be spoken figuratively speech and mm. it doesn't mean it's literal. So Allah show him the vision of those rivers, those blessed rivers of God. Really? So, so this is a vision? Okay. Was Muhammad, was, was Muhammad a trip? Was, was Muhammad a trip? Was Muhammad a trip? A vision or real? I know there is a difference of opinion. Many people say it was a vision. Some mm. say it's a literal and I am on one of those who believe it was a literal. Okay. So, so he I know there is a difference of opinion. Many people say it was a vision. Some mm. say it's a literal, and I am on one of those who believe it was a literal. Okay, so it's so he. I know there is a difference of opinion. Many people say it was a vision. Mm. Some say it's a literal, and I am on one of those who believe it was a literal. Okay, I so, know there's so, a division of okay, some say as long as literal, how come you are Even saying, if it's a vision. so how he saw, as long you believe it is a literal, Even so how he saw the Nile River there? Go ahead. Even if it's a vision. When he says, my friend, how he saw doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter. You said it's point. okay. So now he saw the river of Nile there. Even huh? if it's in the vision, heaven, oh. heaven my, Sama, friend, my, Sama, friend, Sama, my friend, my friend, my friend, Abdul, listen, understand. Abdul, listen. So the Nile River is it in the heaven of Allah or it is in the earth? Well, to this hadith, you understand. Allah is all powerful, and on the day of judgment, He will take those rivers into heaven and into paradise. In the day of he judgment, is, is, is able for Him in the day, to do that. In the day of judgment, why is not able for God? Where, to make okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Abbas, are you making uh, are you making your religion now? Where it says, where your prophet he says Allah will take the Nile River and your fatties to heaven? Are you fabricating your own now? Oh, no, this this. This is this is how you understand these things. You don't no, understand. I am not understanding. No, 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 no. You are the one who mentioned this now. I'm asking you a very simple question and look at your stupid answer. He said Allah will in the judgment day will take them there. Muhammad he saw them there fourteen hundred years ago. Are you stupid or I'm what? I'm saying it's possible for Allah to do these things. You, it's possible, it's possible. You're okay, it but is not possible okay, so what was the Nile River? I know your God. Abdul Potato, Abdul, Abdul, it's stop telling me it's possible. It's, it is possible that Abdul Allah is all that it's God possible, it is possible that it is possible that Allah is a watermelon. It's possible that he is a zucchini. It's possible. But what it's impossible is that the Nile River is in the heaven, for it is not. Uh, you, Outwards is Muslims red line. Tayyip Erdogan, I would like to reiterate that outwards Al Sharif, the holy site of three religions, and our first Qibla, is a red line for all Muslims worldwide. Erdogan said, The claim to Jerusalem as a holy site in Islam rests solely on this one event. Oh, um, honey, I prayed with you the last evening prayer in this valley as you saw. Then I went to Jerusalem and prayed there. I was brought out Burak, who is an animal white and long, larger than a donkey, but smaller than a mule, who would place his hoof a distance equal to the range of version. I mounted it and came to the temple, Beit Maqdis in Jerusalem, then tethered it to the ring used by the prophets. I entered the mosque and prayed to rackers in it, and then came out, and Gabriel brought me a vessel of wine and a vessel of milk. I chose the milk, and Gabriel said, You have chosen the natural thing. Then he took me to heaven. Reference Sahih Muslim 162a. Ishak 182, when we arrived at the temple in Jerusalem, we found Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, along with a company of prophets. I acted as their imam in prayer. Ibn Ishaq then goes on to tell the next part, the visit to seven heavens, in various ways. 1. Allah's Prophet, the night journey itself is not mentioned at all, and returned to Mecca. 2. He tells also that Gabriel went up to heaven carrying him on a ladder. Ishaq 184, after the completion of my business in Jerusalem, a ladder was brought to me finer than any I have ever seen. My companion mounted it with me until we came to one of the gates of heaven called the Gates of the Watchers. Flying or being carried to the first gates of heaven, called the Gates of the Watchers. Ishak 183.
A caravan takes one month to go to Syria, and one month to return, and Khan Mohammed does the return journey in one night. Ishaq 183 Many Muslims gave up their faith. Some went to Abu Bakr, and said, What do you think of your friend now? He alleges that he went to Jerusalem last night, and prayed there, and came back to Mecca. Abu Bakr had no problems with it. He went to the Apostle, and he asked him to describe Jerusalem to him. Note, Allah's messenger went inside a temple, in which he prayed, not a city. One temple which many years later Umar could not enter, because there was none, as it was destroyed centuries earlier by the Romans, the place itself a garbage heap. Allah should know this. Then we ascended to the second heaven. It was asked, who is it? Gabriel said, Gabriel. It was said, who is with you? He said, Mohammed. It was asked, has he been sent for? He said, yes. It was said, he is welcomed. What a wonderful visit his is. Then I met Jesus, and Yaria, John, who said, you are welcomed, O brother, and a prophet. Then we ascended to the third heaven. Reference Sahih al-Bakari 3207 in book Reference Book 59, Hadith 18. Ishaq 182, when we arrived at the temple in Jerusalem, we found Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, Isa, along with a company of prophets. I acted as their imam in prayer. Then we ascended to the second heaven. Then I met Isa, and Yaria, John. Now why did Issa not inform the gatekeepers of the visit, he just prayed with Moha in the temple in Jerusalem he so well knew? Ishaq 184, um, Abu Talib's daughter, said. The apostle went on no journey except while he was in my house. He slept in my home that night after he prayed the final night prayer. A little before dawn he woke us, saying, Oh um, I went to Jerusalem. Ishaq 183 Many Muslims gave up their faith. Some went to Abu Bakr, and said, What do you think of your friend now? He alleges that he went to Jerusalem last night, and prayed there, and came back to Mecca. Allah's reply We granted the vision of the ascension to the heavens, Miraj, which we showed you as an actual eyewitness, but as a trial for people. Quran 1760, Allah's Apostle actually saw with his own eyes the vision of all the things which were shown to him on the night journey to Jerusalem. It was not a dream. Karen Armstrong, in her book, Jerusalem, published 1996, page 229 gives this insight. When Umar was escorted into the city, he asked to be taken to the Temple Mount, where the Dome of the Rock would later be built. He was disgusted at the state of disrepair of the area. When it came time to pray, he refused to pray in any of the Christian monuments, but rather prayed on the steps of the Cardo Maximus, a nearby street. Quote end. So, Yuma found out that there was no Jewish temple, which was useful to him, to pray in it. Did he ever stop to think about how Allah's messenger claimed that we found Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, along with a company of prophets? I acted as their imam in prayer. Did he ever realize his prophet never in his time as Allah's messenger set foot on the Temple Mount, neither going to the seven heaven or returning? That the visit to the seven heaven could never be real, simple natural facts deflate that balloon. Mount Everest as example. This mountain stands 8,848 meters, 29,029 feet, tall, yet one has not left Earth yet. The feet are still firmly planted on it. No untrained person could survive the environment, lack of oxygen, and the extreme cold. We granted the vision of the ascension to the heavens, Mirage which we showed you as an actual eyewitness, but as a trial for people. Quran 1760, Allah's Apostle actually saw with his own eyes the vision of all the things which were shown to him on the night journey to Jerusalem. It was not a dream. 
and for this vision, if not outright lies a human told 1,400 years ago other humans of today are willing to fight, get injured, or even killed, 